What's up, you two? Brad with Brad's Beautiful Balls here. Uh, funny story, guys. I have already made this video. Edited it. In the process, run out of storage. All that good stuff on my phone. In the process of getting ready to upload the video, I deleted the whole thing. So here we go. We're going to try this again. Uh, this is a long overdue uh, kind of a mail time video. Uh, big shout out to Tim at HBP Exotics. I got my shirt. I've had it for a while now, actually. And uh, like I said, I just hadn't had time to get this video done. And uh, But anyway, big shout out to Tim at HBP Exotics. Uh, love the shirt. Great fit. Love it, man. I sure do appreciate it. Y'all go check his channel out. And uh, anyway, yeah, go give him some love. I won the shirt on uh 200 subscriber giveaway, I believe. And, uh, anyway, yeah, super nice shirt, Tim. I appreciate it. Y'all go check his channel out. Give him a sub. And, uh, also, I got my Triple B TV. I don't think that'll show up too good. But, uh, Triple B TV sticker from Brian Cusco. Uh, appreciate it, Brian. I know you probably won't see this video, but I appreciate it. And, uh, hadn't gotten none on the incubator because I want to get a paint job on it, make it look pretty good before I go sticking stickers on there. But yeah, big shout out to Brian, and uh, I know he don't need no shout out, he got plenty. But uh, yeah, big shout out to Brian, and uh, I appreciate the sticker. And uh, anyway, y'all go check out HBP. Now, with all that being said, I wanted to do something more than just a two minute video, so I've got a little chore to do today that I've already done, but we're gonna film it again. Uh, because I've got to set the incubator up. And my incubator is a little bit different than most of the incubator builds. And uh, so I'm going to show it to y'all, explain how it works. Not really a build video, but a how it works video. How to do, or however you want to take that. So we're going to check out the incubator, maybe mix up a little uh, substrate, and uh, get this show on the road. The first video I did was a little long. I needed to shorten it a little bit anyway, so I'm going to try to speed the process up on this and uh, make a little bit shorter video. And uh, anyway, I had a couple other things on my mind. I guess we'll get to them as we go. But uh, anyway, one more time, big shout out. Love the shirt, Tim. HBP Exotics. Y'all go check him out. Thanks, Brian Cusco, for the sticker. I want it on the live stream, and we're going to get on to the next thing. Y'all bear with me. Hang on. One quick thing before the incubator. Uh, this is the Orange Ghost Mail for the giveaway, y'all. You know, 500 subscriber giveaway here on my channel. Uh, we're actually busted 100 subscribers. Uh, we're 108, 109, 107, uh, somewhere along in there. So we're we're plucking on along, y'all. Uh, I sure do appreciate all the support. And uh, if you're new, like and subscribe. We're gonna give this little guy away at 500 subscribers. He's eating good. He is uh, tearing up some red pinks right now. It's actually time to move him up to some uh, fuzzy red so we can get a little weight on him. Uh, he's been wearing them pinks out, but he's just still a little on the skinny side. But he just pooped out too. So, uh, But anyway, yeah, we're going to bump him up to his fuzzies and start getting a little weight on him now. He's, he's well adjusted, but he's awesome, y'all. Super nice reduced pattern. Beautiful snake. Gonna make somebody a good breeder for their orange ghost projects. And uh, anyway, we'll be right back. We're gonna get into an incubator. All right, y'all. I'm gonna try to sum this up a little quicker than I did in the first video. But uh, this is my incubator. I am not gonna take full credit for the design because I bought a homemade incubator from somebody when I first got into breeding. And uh, it was the same principle, but it was a fire hazard waiting to happen. So uh, anyway, guys, this is how it works. Uh, if you notice, it's got a light on down there. All right. Now we back up. I'm sorry. Up here, I've got two thermostats. Now, one thermostat works the light and the two fans circulation fans the other thermostat runs the heat tape now here is why 
So, if you notice, I can put my hand behind this freezer section, and I've actually got some fresh air intake back there. So my fans are circulating some fresh air. A little fresh air does not hurt your incubators, guys. You've got to have it. Uh, anyway, you say the light dries air out. Well, actually, my light, I fill these up with water, and I haven't not done it yet because i got to move, move the incubator back in the same hole and I don't want to slosh water all over the place. But anyway, I fill these up with water. And uh, under this glass, it almost makes like a, a convectional, I uh, wouldn't say oven, but you know, it, it circulates with the airflow and it humidifies really good. And then I put in some more water here. So it humidity is not a problem. Now it's not up right now, because I just turned it on. I hadn't put the water in. All these tubs that are still in here are dried out. I've got to clean every one of them. Uh, but anyway, it holds temperature great. It holds humidity great. Once I get it up, I'll do an update on that once we get the water in it and all set up. We're going to have some eggs in a couple weeks, so I'm, I'm having to do this anyway. Uh, here's my probes. I leave them right there no trouble whatsoever now you could run them inside one of your tubs if you wanted to that's all to your preference i have no problems here now with that being said i want to point this out when i do put my water in here hang on just a second guys all right y'all know me got a recorder on the dead battery anyway what i was saying is when i get my water in here and start bumping the humidity up it'll only run between 75 and 85 percent humidity in the box itself in the incubator uh, the point I am making is the humidity in your tubs will be higher than the humidity in this incubator uh, so always be aware of what your actual humidity is in the tub that's what matters that's where the eggs are uh, so always be mindful of what's going on in the tub, not necessarily just in the incubator. So just wanted to point that out. But yeah, this will go up. It's only at 60% humidity now, but this will jump up once I put that water in here and uh, uh, let it sit a little while. Uh, anyway, guys, I wanted to show y'all the backside. I showed y'all the two thermostats. I'll show y'all what I got going on back here. Uh, anyway, here we go. Alright, I got ink, uh, thermostat 1 and 2. I've got 1 and 2 here. I've got one power cord coming off this thing. One cord. And it runs both of the thermostats. Now, these two plugs here, one is coming from one thermostat, the other one is from the other. So I've got a heat, uh, a surge protector off of each thermostat here now my lights and my fans are on one my heat tapes on two getting back i'll get to the back to that in just a minute but i want to make this point okay we got some fresh air flow a little fresh air will do you some good as long as your thermostat and heat source can keep up uh you need a little bit of fresh air but you don't want to do too much i have a problem with i'm ocd guys and and no offense to anybody at all, but when I see the jumble mumble mess of wires laying all over the place, it drives me nuts. I just can't stand it. So anyway, it, it you don't have to go through all this, but that's uh do whatever works for you. So uh anyway, back to the heat tape and the light issue. This is a fail-safe incubator, guys. Alright, the once it's up to temp, the only thing that keeps it warm is the light and the fan circulating. The light does all the work. Now, if that light blows out, the bulb blows out, whatever, and I'm gone or I don't come out here for a day or two and check on it, whatever the case may be, if the light bulb blows out and the, the heat tape thermostat set a degree lower, once the light bulb blows out, the heat tape will kick in and keep this going. The fans circulate with the light, which the light will be telling itself to be on, so the fans will be on. As long as you have electricity, this is a fail-safe incubator. 
and I can get a lot of eggs in here. I can get two small clutches in each bin or uh, one large clutch in each one of the tubs and I can stack them up in there. Y'all, you, you can move the shelves, whatever, take them out. I can get some clutches in this thing to be as small and room conservative as, as it is. So anyway, we're going to get going. That's how my incubator works. Uh, it's great and it, it everything about it is great and it's small it's space saving and it's fail safe as long as you got electricity but uh all right guys bear with me we're gonna mix up a little vermiculite light and we're gonna end this video and so far we're making good time be right back all right y'all here we go now for my substrate and guys out here use a mixture of this use that use this don't use this don't use that use diffusers people you do what works for you if it works it works and that's all that matters uh, i use straight vermiculite that's it i don't use diffusers i mix this vermiculite oh uh, and i bury my eggs in it and I honestly, guys, have a near-perfect hatch rate. If I lose an egg, nine times out of ten, that egg was infertile when I put it in the incubator. And I already know it's infertile. But you give them all a try. You don't give up on them until you absolutely know they're bad. So, my point being is, I have no problems with this. And it works great. I love it. But you do what works for you if you're worried about it being too wet use a diffuser uh you know you got to have high humidity but your eggs don't need to be wet so again that goes back to i said always be mindful of what's going on inside your tubs more than what's going on inside your incubator so anyway as you notice i just put a little water in this uh, get it mixed up. This is straight vermiculite. Nothing special. Nothing fancy. Just vermiculite in a tub. I've got a hole, one one good size hole in my tub, and uh, I've got that bigger tub on the top shelf in that incubator because that's actually I reload when the eggs are a couple days out from hatching. I put them in the bigger tub, and uh, that just works for me. Uh, again, you do what works for you. Uh, as long as it works, it works. But I prefer this method, and it works great. Like I say, I have a, I'll go out and say a 98% hatch rate, with the exception of one being infertile when it goes in. And it doesn't take much water. And I'm fixing to show y'all how to get this right here in just a second. Uh, mix it up really good. Now, corners get dry. I always make sure you get them corners dug out of there because they'll still be dry. And uh, alright y'all. You see this? You see how that clumped? See that? That actually needs just a hair bit more. So, you're going to mix that up until this will clump and then powder right back to powder. Uh, you don't want to be squeezing water out of it. Again, you don't want your eggs wet. You want them humid. But you don't want them wet, saturated wet. And I know y'all know what I'm talking about. So, once this is good mixed, you will be able to take and clump it like that. Nice clump. But when you do that, it'll go right back to powder. No problem. My hand's a little wet. That's why that's sticking. But, uh, clump, powder. That's where you want it. That is just about perfect there uh, if you mix too much of this stuff up you can always put it in another tub if you make it too wet you can add more vermiculite if it's too dry you add more water but that's what you want right there nice cl nice clump but you want it to go right back to powder and I can squeeze that all day long and I'm not gonna squeeze any water out of that and these eggs will do perfect uh, I have had some instances where it will dry up a little bit. Uh, not really. If you get it mixed right, it don't. 
but uh, if it does dry up a little bit in incubation with eggs in it, you don't want to get your eggs wet by adding water or anything. All you have to do is uh, put a couple wet paper towels in here. It'll uh, this stuff will bounce right back. It's awesome. It's perfect. And uh, but anyway, that's about it, guys. I'm gonna get my hands washed up, and we'll wrap this video up real quick. All right, y'all, that's it. I hope I covered all the bases in this. I really had a better video going the first time, but uh, I'm not going to do it a third time. Uh, Zoe with Clutch X, if you're watching this, I have not forgot you on that hatchling rack. Uh, honestly, I've gotten to get it dug out, and I think I'm just going to do a rack video on them racks because they're inexpensive to build, and they work great. So, uh, but I have not forgot you, my friend, and uh, we'll get them on there. We still got the build video on the rat racks coming. I, I'm in the work, y'all. I'm almost done. So that's coming too. So y'all stay tuned. We got some good stuff coming. And uh, I, I appreciate y'all watching. If you're new, like and subscribe. We got a lot of good stuff coming. Baby uh, eggs fixing to be coming. So lots of good stuff. Lots of good stuff. And uh, y'all remember, I can't never accomplished anything. And uh, we'll see y'all next time around. Goodbye.